Good morning. The thing that is on my mind this morning is how important it is to really own the start of your day because honestly, the very beginning of your day is the only time that you have complete control over what happens. And I think this is especially true if you get up early enough so that other people don't have demands on your time. So I've been getting up between 4 and 4.30 in the morning. It's super quiet. I grab my coffee, I do my journaling, I do my visualization, and then I go on a walk. So this morning, um, I'm in Phoenix, and so it's pretty warm. I left the house at 5 a.m., got back at 6.30, and I owned that start of my day. There's nobody tapping me on the shoulder for anything, any emails or any work that needs to be addressed. No one's expecting me to get that done by 6.30 in the morning. And the beautiful thing about that is when you take care of yourself first, when you do that visualization and when you really get clear on what it is you want to create in your life, you take completely different actions. So I did my visualization this morning. There's a couple of new things that we're launching inside of the business. And I could clearly, clearly see the products and the services and the response. So we're launching a digital journal. It is beautiful. So Jana Swanson um, is, the, is my assistant and the creative director for our products and our magazine. And oh my gosh, she is so talented. Um, and it just really inspired me to think about, you know, what else? So we're, we're, def we're doing the digital. Uh, we are also uh, having a print journal that's going to be coming out. I've picked the print vendor, we're working through that. And I'm launching a membership site next year for professional women to help them rise in their career. And I'm starting a course, building the platform. And so this visualization that I did, I could clearly see the results of all of that work. And I imagined in my visualization what that was gonna look like. So when I'm on my walk this morning, I, I mean, I, I, I kind of continued that visualization, right? Right down to the conversation I'm gonna have with my financial advisor. So um, Tim DeVito, I'll give him a shout out. If you guys want the phone number for an amazing financial advisor, let me know, I'm happy to give that to you. And so I could clearly see three years from now sitting down with Tim and the conversation that we were going to have around financial planning. And as I came back into the house, I realized I really, really owned this morning. And I'm excited to get started. There have been so many mornings in my life where I might wake up looking at my checkbook or looking at bills or worrying about, you know, how I'm gonna take care of something or what if the car breaks or, um, you know, should I continue or corporate or what if I started my business? And I started my day with angst and frustration. And more and more, I'm, I'm really seeing that when I own my morning and I start my day with visualization and positivity and knowing what's in the future, the more it comes to pass. And it's just such a great way to start the day and it completely changes the actions that I take during the day, right? I mean, you, you know that that's your future and so you're just like walking toward it instead of tapping on the window wondering what's inside so um, if you feel like your days are running you or you have this desire to really own your day I encourage you set your clock like an hour two hours early get up do your visualization journal um, get some exercise and go for a walk continue that visualization of what your future looks like and you will own your day. All right guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll be back soon, bye.